James Haven became a media sensation for his lovey-dovey trip to the Oscars with his sister Angelina Jolie in 2000. But we haven't heard much from him since. What's he been up to all these years? Let's start with the moment that made headlines. The Kiss Haven became famous for a short time when he accompanied Jolie to the 2000 Academy Awards. Although Jolie won the Oscar that night for Girl Interrupted, everyone was talking about the multiple public displays of affection with her sibling during the ceremony. I'm so in love with my brother right now. <laughs> he just held me and said he loved me, and I know he's so happy for me. At another point, the brother and sister lock lips. Their behavior spawned rumors that Jolie and Haven were actually dating. Both Jolie and Haven have downplayed their notorious kiss over the years. Jolie told People in 2004, We're the best of friends, and it wasn't some odd open-mouth kiss. It was disappointing that something so beautiful and pure could be turned into a circus. And Haven echoed the sentiment to the Daily Mail in 2007, saying, I did not give Angie a French kiss. It was something simple and lovely. She was about to go off to Mexico to finish filming Original Sin. I congratulated her on the Oscar win and gave her a quick kiss on the lips. He reconciled with his father. Although Jolie and Haven were very close to their mother, they had a famously difficult relationship with their father, Oscar-winning actor John Voight. Haven told the Daily Mail in 2007, I have no memory at all of my mother shouting at me or my sister, but I do have horrible memories of my father and the way he behaved. He was so tough on our mother. Their relationship was so strained that Haven dropped his surname in favor of his middle name, as did Jolie. Around 2009, Haven became a born-again Christian, reconciled with Voight, and encouraged Jolie to also bury the hatchet, according to E! Online. Jolie reportedly followed his lead about a year later. He's still close with Jolie. Haven has stayed very close with Jolie over the years and has been a fixture at some of her biggest movie premieres. Haven also attended Jolie and Brad Pitt's intimate wedding ceremony in 2014 in France, where the brother-sister duo paid tribute to their late mother, who died of ovarian cancer in 2007 by wearing pieces of her jewelry. Haven was also featured in one of the behind-the-scenes wedding photos published by Hello! magazine shortly after the nuptials. He's a director. In March 2016, The Wrap reported that Haven signed on to direct The Last Boy, a science fiction fantasy drama about a young boy who searches for survivors after an airborne virus has destroyed humanity. Haven previously directed a short film. The Last Boy will mark Haven's feature directorial debut. Over the years, Haven has also appeared in bit parts in various movies and TV shows, including The Game and the 2001 thriller Original Sin starring Jolie. The Manny Years Haven reportedly spent a lot of time with Jolie's six children since news of her divorce broke. According to the Daily Mail, he became the kid's full-time nanny, and Jolie's twins, Knox and Vivian, even started calling him daddy. A source told Grazia magazine that Haven stopped watching after Brangelina's Army of Children in March 2017. A source claimed, He's loved spending so much time with his nieces and nephews, but it's hard work and he's absolutely shattered. He was virtually running the household and it became very draining. The source added that Jolie let Haven go so he could focus on himself. She's grateful that James was there, but knows she can't rely on him every step of the way. Thanks for watching! Click the Nikki Swift icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too!